do we now have a COVID wonder drug in sight? An antibody cocktail developed by Roche is now available in India. It will be marketed by Cipla. The drug is to be administered for the treatment of mild to moderate coronavirus cases in adults and of course pediatric patients too, 12 years of age or older. The new drug is for those who are at high risk of developing severe COVID-19 disease but do not require oxygen support. It has been shown to help high-risk patients before their condition deteriorates, reducing the risk of hospitalization and fatality. It's being said by 70% and shortening the duration of symptoms by four days. The antibody cocktail is a medical product that can be procured subject to medical prescription by a doctor and can be administered in settings in which healthcare providers have immediate access to medication to treat infusion reaction. Now, this intravenous administration takes about 20 to 30 minutes is what we are being told. Patients should be monitored during the administration of the drug and observed for at least one hour after the drugs are given. Joining me on the broadcast is Dr. Naresh Trehan, the Chairman and Managing Director of Medanta, the Medicity. Dr. Trehan has been at the forefront of fighting coronavirus. Dr. Trehan, was this the treatment used for the then US President Donald Trump? He was back on his feet in less than a week, sir? Yeah, yeah you're right. It's the same. These are known as uh, monoclonal antibodies. These are antibodies made in the lab and their effectiveness comes from the fact that they actually block the virus. They block the virus from entering the cells of a human being so that they don't get the nutrition to replicate and also over a period of time they, their number reduces. So that's the effectiveness of these two monoclonal antibodies. It's called a cocktail because there are two of them. And there is one is known as Kasirivimab and the other is known as Imdevimab. Now these are mixed just before administration to a patient and these two act in, a diff in tandem with each other. And they block different areas so that the virus is unable to enter the cells and get nutrition from the cells and then dies. So that is what the, the mechanism behind this is. And there is certainly a lot of hope that this has been introduced in India in the middle of this terrible pandemic and the fact that it may give relief to people who are at a higher risk. So the right. key fact about this, this cocktail is that one, it should be administered as soon as you can post detection of that a person is infected with COVID-19. So in, in other words, if you have an RT-PCR test, that is positive, then the best thing to do is within the next 48, 72 hours and sooner if possible to go to a center where this is available and there is experience in administering it and they have the possible, uh, all the facilities to treat a reaction if that may happen, although it is quite rare, that this may help hugely in two things. One is to prevent people from getting very sick. Okay. Also maybe prevent people from, from needing a hospital bed. And at the end, we, it will reduce the hospitalization by three, four days. And also it is shown evidence that it will reduce the incidence of death. So, so and in your view, sir, the efficacy of this drug, so if somebody tests COVID positive uh, after an RT-PCR test, should rush straight to a hospital. So, for example, would Medanta be administering this drug? And if it does, uh, is this intravenous? So you just take this drug at the hospital. How long would, would a person have to stay in hospital, sir? So, of course, Medanta is, is launching it also on Wednesday. And, all, and we have uh, the whole methodology already worked out. And we are going to be one of the leading centers of it. The main thing is that it can be given in two, uh, two ways. One is intravenous, and it has been approved in India for subcutaneous administration also. That route is also available to people. 
So you can either inject it in, into the into the vein, as that we call intravenous, or you can put it under the skin, like much like insulin does. But you will need four spots in your body where where these in, injections can be given. So they are mixed before administering 600 milligrams of casirumab and 600 milligram of mdevimab. So these then become a co cocktail to be administered. So it is an easy process. The only thing is that it needs to be monitored for one hour after it is administered so that if somebody is getting a reaction, and the reaction can be like uh, fever, chills, uh, some people may get a rash, or in only one case, has there been an anaphylactic reaction which was severe, but it was managed and the patient survived. So that's not, that has not been a problem in this particular therapy. And how many, how many of these drugs would need to be taken? Or you just take that one, one jab uh, or the number of jabs uh, the doctor says, and then do you stay at hospital beyond the ER or you go home? No, you go home. You go home and there is a single dose treatment. And you can go home right after that one hour of observation. And then hopefully many, many, many people who otherwise would have landed up in the hospital would not need his hospitalization. The efficacy of it, this whole methodology is about 70%. So 70% of the people who otherwise would have had to go into the hospital may not need to go to the hospital. And also so it, it has been shown to reduce the de death rate co consequently the same way. So I think this is a very good modality which will give a lot of people relief because if you have noticed in the last second wave that we are suffering from right now, people have been affected much more severely than they were affected in the first wave. Yes. And consequently, many people have lost their lives. Uh, if, you, if you look at it, the last, there are 300,000 deaths in India. The last 100,000 happened in the last 26 days. So you know that there has been a quite a steep rise in the number of deaths. And if this will help to prevent many, many deaths, it's a very su successful uh, intervention that we have in our hands. It indeed would be. But would this then be only for the super rich, uh, considering it's about, uh, I believe, 60,000 rupees uh, for a jab? And that's just the cost of the injection, uh, hospital costs extra, sir? That's correct. That's correct. It is expensive. But, you know, if it is going to prevent hospitalization, then the cost is minuscule as compared to the cost of a, of a hospitalization. And, of course, if it is going to prevent severe illness from which people take months and months to recover, it is worth the cost. And again, if it is going to prevent death, it is worth the cost. So I think that although these are expensive, and we have actually been appealing to the uh, to the companies to say, can you reduce the cost? So for that point of view, yes, it's expensive. But if it is successful, it is multiple times paid for by the fact that you reduce hospitalization, death rate, and shorten the hospitalization if somebody needs it. So I think from that point of view, it is worth accessing the therapy if you can. And... Uh, you know, we, over a period of time, I'm sure the cost will also come down. And are, are we getting these drugs in good numbers in our, in our country, sir? Uh, you know, considering the requirement is so huge in our country, uh, your hospital, for example, or other hospitals, would they be able to jab a, a fair, fair number of people? Yes, of course. So, you see, um, we are told by the company that 100,000 vials have come. That means 200,000 doses because each vial can give two doses. So if 200,000 people can be covered, but then there's supposed to be a regular supply coming. And as the demand grows, if it grows, then the company can supply more. It comes from Roche, Switzerland. So so the it is a important item and it takes time. And they are manufactured in the lab. So there is a finite capacity to manufacture them also. But if it shows the results that it has shown in other countries like the United States, I've studied the science behind it, and I've studied the, the studies done in, in U.S. centers, and it has definitely shown significant benefit to the patient who unfortunately has got infected with COVID-19, and also the fact 
that multiple countries have shown this benefit. It has been approved in many, many countries. And I hope that in India it will give the same results, preventing huge people from getting sick and many, many people from dying. Oh, absolutely, sir. So, you would, would you describe this as the wonder drug that people are really looking forward to? What would you say in terms of side effects? What should people beware? So, you know, that's one thing, a word of caution. Now, that is what I don't want people to listen to this program and think that now everything will be all right and it is, it, like we favoritely say in, in Hindi, Ramban, it is neither a Ramban nor a silver bullet, but a huge help in one people who get infected. Of course, the best thing is not to get infected. But God forbid, if you do get infected, then of course, and you have that high risk profile, then of course, it's a big relief. And also it can be given to children also, provided their weight is over 40 kilograms. So it has been, it has been used from that point of view across the board wherever it is needed, but what my, my advice is that we should stick to the protocol the way it has been approved by DCGI, the way it has been approved by the US FDA and other countries also, and that judiciously use it. It should, and it's important for people also to understand that it's not like just rush there and try to consume the doses because whether you need it or not, I think that let the doctors decide like our team at Medanta is fully trained, has gone through the entire science, they have held seminars, we know exactly who to who will benefit and who to inject it to. Okay. So we are, we are ready and we are launching on, the drug should arrive in the country tonight and uh, delivered to us tomorrow, so we can start any time tomorrow or day after. So that's mm -hmm. a, there is a certain amount of, a lot of excitement in us, of course, and that fact that this can give relief to patients where we are suffering. We, we've seen huge problems with, with, with patients, families who have lost their dear ones. So this, if this brings relief, yes, this is, this is a great help to everybody. This indeed would be. What's the data that's available, sir, on the trial of this drug? So the, there are thousands, there are 12,000 patients studied and that showed the 70% benefit. Then there is, uh, interestingly enough, there's a very important study done by Methodist Hospital Network in Houston, which we, we actually studied very carefully with the people who did the study, and there was a good scientific discussion around it, and they demonstrated very clearly that over thousands of cases that they have done, that they could reduce the hospitalization to the patients who ordinarily would have required hospitalization, and also the number of deaths were discrete, uh, decreased by 80%. So there are many good studies like this done around the world. So that is why the DCGI in his wisdom also approved it on the basis of the data presented. And there is no real side effects, as I told you already. So there is downside is not much. Of course, it costs money, but otherwise, it gives great hope to uh, people who may get infected. But like and I your said, advice is that my, warning is, my yes. warning is very clear. Just don't think that there is monoclonal antibody available, so let me throw caution to the wind, and if I get infected, I'll get released. That would be the most irresponsible thing anybody can do. So protect yourself still, but unfortunately, if you get it, there is relief available from Wednesday onwards. Excellent. And as soon as you get an RT-PCR test, head to a doctor, head to a hospital, because this is a dedicated COVID treatment drug, isn't it, uh, Dr. Trehan? Uh, uh, not repurposed like several others. Like, like it has, it is, no, although the concept of monoclonal antibodies already exists, but these two uh, antibodies that have been chosen, uh, the Casirivimab and Imdevimab, these two are known to block the spike protein of the COVID-19 virus. And they have been tested against many variants also. And they have shown that there is no change in the efficacy against many, many, many of the variants, including uh, B16617 uh, and B, B1117. So, there, so these laboratory tests have shown that, yes, they are effective against those spike proteins, and as we roll it out, 
we are doing, by the way, at Medanta, because we are one of the dedicated centers, we are doing a post, uh, what we call phase four trial, in the sense that we will record all the data. We will yes. stay in touch with the patients. We will see how they progress. And then we will publish this post-market study as soon as we have a few thousand patients. So we are now looking forward to it and seeing that if it is truly worth it, and we would recommend it to the people accordingly. So, Wish you all the best, sir. And before I let you go, so people with comorbidities uh, or children above the age of 12, uh, this is a drug even for them. Yes. Now, comorbidities should be understood very clearly. And that, you know, that we have all those described already in many forms. But basically, the most common ones are diabetics, hypertensives, heart disease, immune compromise, overweight, where, where your where body mass index is high. And, uh, and if you are on chemotherapy, if you, are, if you are getting any of the rheumatoid suppression drugs, so there's a whole list of it. The doctor is the best person to advise you. And we are giving out the advisory right now. The, the company has also given out some, and we have made some educated videos from Medanta, which we will circulate freely. Uh, Dr. Kataria from Suchila Kataria from our team has already made a very, very descriptive video, which if you see it, you'll understand the whole uh, gamut and understand who is it for, how effective it is, and how, when you should get it. But the, uh, but the one line advice is, if you are a candidate for it, go seek it as soon as you test RT positive, because the sooner you give it, the more you block the virus, because the virus should not be given a chance to replicate, because this is the first seven days are replication, so the outer limit is seven days from start of symptoms. So if, okay. if but the sooner, the more effective it is. Dr. Naresh Trehan, as always, such a pleasure talking to you, sir. It's, it's heartening. I mean, there's so much gloom and doom. But amidst this comes this report that there are medicines that we can try. And wish you all the best, sir. Wish you all the best, Dr. Trehan, for joining me here on India Today. Okay. All the there's breaking news that's coming in.